Hello everyone, I'm CJ Willerman. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and please help keep our show going and growing by supporting me at patreon.com slash CJ Willerman. Now let's get into it. The international media has given round the clock attention to Vladimir Putin's move to mobilize 300,000 Russian civilians for his criminal but failing occupation of Ukraine. With most outlets focused on reports showing Russian men of military age fleeing the country because they don't want any part of the dictator's war. But here's what the media is not telling you. That Putin is forcing Muslim men and boys to be killed by US weapons for Imperial Russia. Why? Because neither Russia nor the West care about Muslim lives. You see, Putin cannot afford to have ordinary Russians returning home to Moscow and St. Petersburg in body bags because that would turn the mainstream Russian population against him. This is what has already claimed 50,000 dead Russian soldiers. And now Putin needs to send thousands of untrained civilians to fight on the front lines, many who are receiving only one day of military training. These new conscripts are being led by lambs to the slaughter. But the dictator knows how ordinary Russians think. He knows that they don't care about Muslim populations in faraway lands, which is why the Russian leader has started his mobilization campaign in occupied Muslim territories, including Chechnya, Dagestan and Crimea. In other words, Russian military conscription is also being used as an opportunity to cleanse Muslim populations Putin believes are disloyal to Russia. Watch here as young Chechen men are being forcibly conscripted for combat right now. Chechnya is being forced to provide a full one-third of the 300,000 new Russian conscripts who will be used as cannon fodder against US-backed Ukraine forces. And as stated earlier, many of his kids will receive only a single day's worth of military training before being deployed against battle-hardened troops who are willing to die while defending their homeland. This has sparked protests amongst Muslim mothers in Chechnya. We should also remember, Putin slaughtered 200,000 Muslims during the Second Chechen War, from 1999 to 2009, while turning entire cities into rubble. This is why Chechen mothers don't want their sons to die for the Russian dictator. Clearly, Putin doesn't care if Chechens are slaughtered for his diabolical and catastrophic invasion. And nor does he care about Muslims in the Russian Federation territory of Dagestan. Given the Muslim majority population of only 3 million people has suffered 10 times as many casualties as Moscow during this war. Which is why protests have erupted over Putin's military conscription drive in Dagestan. On Sunday, Muslim protesters against the war blocked a highway in Dagestan. In the background, you can hear Russian soldiers fire automatic weapons. But things are even worse for Tatar Muslims in Russian occupied Crimea. With a new report showing the Muslim minority accounts for 90% of all new Russian conscripts from the territory despite representing only 14% of Crimea's total population. This forced mass conscription has been described as a real ethnic genocide of Crimean Tatars. This is a people Joseph Stalin tried to exterminate in the 1940s and have been systematically oppressed since Putin annexed Crimea in 2014. What Russia brings uh, to the territories where they come, they bring nothing uh, but uh, crime, destroying, uh, mother cries, uh, orphan children. We saw this in Crimea, we saw this in Syria, and now we see... The Needless to say, Muslim parents in Crimea, Chechnya and Dagestan are panicked about the prospect of their children being used by Putinist cannon fodder against US weapons in Ukraine. Many are telling their conscripted children to surrender to Ukrainian forces at the first possible opportunity. But Putin's military leaders have warned deserters will be shot in the back. This is why many Muslim men of military age feel they have no other choice than to fight back against their Russian occupiers. 
group of Muslim volunteers is fighting against the Russian invasion of Ukraine. After finding mass graves of Ukrainian families, they're even more committed to the resistance. For Muslims in Chechnya, this is an all too familiar story because nothing has changed for them during the past 20 years of Russian occupation. Dead Chechens, Dagestanis and Crimean Tatars is how Putin is fighting his war of choice to the bitter end. In his mind and the minds of the Russian people, Muslim lives are extinguishable. Russian wars in Afghanistan, Chechnya, Syria and now Ukraine have proved to Vladimir Putin that there's no political price to pay for killing Muslims or putting Muslims in harm's way. If the war's current casualty rate is to continue, then we expect a full one third of the 300,000 new conscripts to be killed in action during the coming months. And soon, you'll be able to add another 100,000 dead Muslims to the 4 million other Muslims who have already been killed in Western-led wars since 1990. This is so messed up that I don't even know what more to say, so I'll leave it at that. Anyway, that's my time for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we kindly ask you please support this endeavour by becoming a member of this show at patreon.com slash cjwellerman. We can't produce, sustain and grow this show without your help and we offer exclusive benefits to those who do. But for now, good night, good morning, wherever you are and stay blessed. Thank you.